Welcome back to the Soul Sharing series with Empress Lacey. So exciting to be able to be here. This is now coming up on number seven um, of the episodes in this series and it's been such a joy for me to create. So thank you for coming back. Oh, I guess I have to, I have to let you know something. I actually had a whole other business before I came out as a healer. We were teaching intuitive eating and, and helping other people who have struggled with eating disorders to overcome those challenges and to find a way to be with food in their bodies that was nourishing and that was loving. And um, that was actually where I co-authored my very first book. And it's really interesting to have that book not be on shelves and not published and um, not actually being purchased right now. And that stung when I found it in my cupboard a couple of weeks ago. Um, a beautiful, beautiful book. It was actually a joy for me to reread uh, and regret washed through my heart as I read it. And I sat with that feeling, as I do with all feelings, and I held it in love, and I paid attention to what it was wanting me to remember. And for the six years that I was in business with um, another dear friend, uh, a wonderful, inspiring woman, um, I, I was waiting. I was waiting to be discovered. I was waiting for that big break. I was waiting... Um, for someone to recognize the genius that we had and, and, the, and the powerful message and program that we had created together. And I allowed that regret to just simmer in my heart and really bring me back to my responsibility to represent myself and my business and my sacred healing arts and the uh, beautiful options of how people can hire me and work with me, that that's um, a beautiful sacred obligation that I have to actually promote those sacred offerings that um, I have great compassion for myself that I was in business for six years with you know some might say we had success I spoke at like f over 40 live events we did seminars and workshops and worked with hundreds and hundreds of clients and um, I saw miracles um, transform in the lives of those beautiful people I was blessed to serve and I think what's interesting is that it totally changed the perspective that I had as I separated from that dear friend and knew that it was time to forge my own path in my own business I revealed myself as a heart healer I started out on social media fresh um, my own YouTube channel you know my own um, Facebook page Instagram account and really allowed myself to create from that place and not wait, not work in a way where I held myself down or kept back the magic that I knew I could offer to people because I didn't want people to think that I was talking myself up or that I was arrogant or that I was egotistical, that they were my fears before, that I didn't want people to think that I thought I was better than them or whatever I told myself at the time. I can't remember because if we don't give ourselves permission to self-promote, who is going to promote you in the way that you can? And I've reflected on this a lot because I've had clients promote me, I've had my husband promote me, I've had dear friends promote me, my mom has promoted me, and they will and they do, and they'll do it for one day and they'll do it with one person or ten people. And at the end of the day, if we don't give ourselves permission to become our biggest promoter, the person that believes in us the most and promotes our sacred offerings, then who are we going to wait for that person to find us to get the call to come on to Oprah or to actually hear from a publisher that wants to release our works? I decided to publish my own books. I wasn't going to wait around for an agent. I couldn't find an agent. I wasn't going to wait around for a publishing company to actually knock on my door and offer me a contract. I organized my soul work in a way and have self-published three books now and I'm working on my fourth. And the reason why I do that is because I'm not waiting to be discovered, I'm not waiting to be found, that I'm the one that's given myself full permission to be a sacred promoter. And darling one, you actually know how amazing you are. And there's a shadow side of us where we don't want to be seen as arrogant and we don't want to be seen as making out that we're better than anyone else. And I promote many amazing, talented, gifted healers that in this world, truly, 
there is a need for every one of us. There is, it's not full. It's not, <laughs> all the places aren't full. Um, I know that, you know, you just being exactly who you are, there's absolutely nobody on the planet that can replicate your sacred healing work, your amazing professional skills, your capacity to reach those people out there. They can only hear you. There's absolutely no competition. And what I want to invite you to do in this episode is to really check in with yourself and go, what am I waiting for? Am I waiting to earn a certain amount before I promote myself? Am I waiting to not earn a certain amount to promote myself? Am I waiting for a publisher, an agent? Am I waiting to be found or discovered? And I want to give you permission to lovingly release the idea that anyone can be a better promoter than you. And I want to invite you, darling one, to step in and assume the sacred responsibility of being your biggest promoter. And as I've given myself permission to do this, I did squirm initially. But what I realized is that this actually wasn't about me. That as we give ourselves permission to be a sacred promoter, we're actually giving ourselves permission to reach people that would not hear about us otherwise. This is not selfish. This is actually incredibly devoted. I actually pay money to be able to just share my message for free with people that doesn't even cost them any money whatsoever that I actually pay to teach for free because I really, really know that people need to know how to promote their own sacred business offerings and how to heal their own hearts. And I would love to hear what you think about this. How do you feel about me inviting you to become your own sacred promoter in your business, darling one? I know that as we do that, that it is a selfless act and that you are actually showing up out of care and concern for other people and allowing your care for those who are on the receiving end of your message to be more important than your own discomfort in the moment. And that's how I've trained myself to do this. But I actually really genuinely care about the people on the other end of receiving these messages more than I do about my own actual discomfort in sharing it in the present. So, darling, when is it time to promote your own sacred work and to let people know what you do and how you do it and who you are? I would love to hear your thoughts. How do you feel about this? If you have found this valuable, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. It would be so nice um, to be able to see if this has reached you, and, and I respect if it hasn't. And if you would like to hear more about how you can share your soul to become more recognized and sought after and attract your most delicious, lovely, ideal clients, please subscribe. And I've got two more episodes coming up. It's only nine episodes in this magical series. And uh, it's so nice to be able to share this with you all. So, would you like to promote yourself a little bit more? I'd love to see you back next time. Thank you for being here. Lots of love from Lisey.